guys, welcome to Wrestling Figure Wednesday. Today I'll be reviewing the Mattel WWE Elite Series 71 Adam Cole Bebe figure. Very excited to get this. Probably the one I was anticipating most out of this set as well. As uh, of course he comes with the North American Championship which is highly sought after for many for a long time. So we are finally seeing that belt in the figure line and it looks really nice. Apparently there are two versions supposedly floating around. I haven't seen anybody get the incorrect one though, which is a good thing. So hopefully Mattel caught that before it actually really started shipping. Uh, but be sure to check your belt when you get it either from ringside or at the store eventually or what have you. Um, but anyway, Adam Cole looks nice. He has a new head scan, a bunch of new hands as well, which is great. Of course, the title belt and a cloth shirt, which is a huge bonus. So if you didn't get the Undisputed Era 3-pack, you could at least get him like this now, which is awesome. Uh, but looking at him in the packaging, he looks fantastic. It's a picture of him on this side. His name that side on the back. There's an image of him as well from when he won the belt. And also in the set is John Cena, Jeff Hardy, Drew McIntyre, Nikki Bella, and The Big Show. So that being said, let's take a look at him fresh out of the packaging. Alright guys, so here we have the Elite 71 Adam Cole figure fresh out of the packaging. and It is awesome. Love all the hands. Like, the real expressive hands are great. Of course, he comes with a belt, he has a cloth shirt, he even has his armband and even an elbow pad. There's just a ton of accessories on him which is really really nice. You know some people were bagging on his hairline that they uh, made it receding a little more than it actually is. So I don't know. I don't care that much. It still looks pretty good to me. Of course the accessories and everything really make it an A plus figure. Plus you could always swap the Undisputed Era head onto this one if you prefer that of course. But anyway, look at his hands first. That's cool, we have the Undisputed Air hands here. Let's give it a focus. There you go. Just like the Too Sweet hand as well, so I'm sure people will be picking uh, this figure up just for that hand as well. As you know, that's something people have been after for a long time. But these look really, really nice. Very cool. Of course, you could do the UE. Not sure if I'm posing it right, but. Very cool, nonetheless. Yeah. Looks great. You could swap them out, of course. I won't do that for this review, but you can do that, as usual. And then he has regular hands to hold accessories, like the belt and stuff he comes with. So that's nice to give you that. It's too bad he doesn't have fists as well, but of course, you could steal fists from another figure to give him. But here is the North American title. Looks really nice. Love the, uh, did that with the strap and everything. And of course the shininess of this is really, really nice. Look at the detail on the plates. North American champion. Very, very cool. Here's what it looks like on the other side. But it looks really nice. And now of course Adam Cole. So here's his new skin, of course, when he's yelling during his entrance. He's got his tongue sticking out. Like I said, the hairline people said is a little high, which I guess I could see it now, now that I've acknowledged it. So it's kind of hard to unsee it, I guess. But regardless, still very cool. I like Adam Cole. I was very excited to get a new figure of him, especially with a really nice cloth shirt. And he does have a Undisputed Era, I was about to say United, I don't know why, uh, but Undisputed Era armband and an elbow pad, his black wristbands and of course new hands to do his entrance taunt as well. And then of course you can see the detail in his tattoo work here. I don't remember if I reviewed the Undisputed Era set so you can check out my review of them if it exists. It's been a while so I don't remember if I did that one. Uh, but then he has his tall black knee pads, black boots, and the Undisputed Era logos on his boots and his trunks. It says Bebe on the back there. And then of course you can undo his shirt here to have him in wrestling attire. There's a lot of fuzz and stuff on mine, but thankfully that all 
came right off. I almost had a mini panic attack there for a second if it was stained. Um, but you can see on the front here it has AC for Adam Cole as well. But yeah, that is Adam Cole's newest elite figure. Of course, if you didn't pick up on Disputed Area, you'll want to pick this one up. But I know a lot of people will, especially for all the accessories and the belt, of course. So, very, very cool. Be sure to get him over on ringside if you do not want to wait to find him at retails. It will be quite a while, I'm sure. Very close to holiday time when these surface. I imagine it could even be after that for all I know. But anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to like Wrestling Figure Wednesday on Facebook to suggest future views you'd like to see me do. And I'll see you soon. Thanks. Like this video? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And check out my latest videos. For all your wrestling figure needs, check out ringsidecollectibles.com.